Yo, good morning. What is up? I have something in my eye. Oh. Oh, it's an eyelash. You can straight see it. Let me get this guy real quick. But we're going to be smoking. Uh. I don't know, but what up everybody, we're going to be smoking on, uh, well, showing you some insight and uh, a little secret, oh, I got something in my eye, it's a damn eyelash, a little secret about the packaging, Insaw, this one's the GOAT, already did a review on it, but what up bro, what up, what up everybody, Henny, what up, Hostile 570, what up, a uh, little secret on these, all the tops of these are stickers like for your refrigerator or for whatever you want to do check it out boom you just pull it right off i don't know what i did i have an eyelash in my eye i was trying to get it out but uh cleaning my eye out with a dabber yeah check it out it's pretty cool it's a sticker i'm gonna slap it down here oh no my little thing we might as well go right next to the Relax smooth one. Oh, well, that's where it went. But here is the flower here. Inside, it's really all I have left. I mean, the camera just doesn't do it justice. It looks... Let me try to put it on this here. And that's all I have left. Uh, we're going to mix in a little bit of that new GTI smooth two, uh, three chems. But, yeah, that shit just looks and smells and tastes phenomenal. And then here right here is the shine flower. Oh, my. Which doesn't look bad either. Look at that. And my boy Eric Asher, he presses this stuff. He got like a 28% yield, like eight. Um... Almost a gram back from an eighth, which is a pretty nice yield. But uh, what are you guys up to? Uh, what are you guys smoking on? Good morning from here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm just going to break this up here. and This is probably two weeks old, maybe, I think. Uh, so, yeah, it's breaking up real nice. Uh, it is a sativa... You can tell from this indica, it has these real tight buds. This one has like that more loose, long type uh, bud. But this, this, this new rhythm, man. Oh, this is fresh. It's fresh right here. What are you smoking on? What are you dabbing on? What the heck are you guys doing? I don't even think I have anything around me to even hit for you real quick. My, uh... Puffka is upstairs. Oh, did you? You like that tiger's milk? I definitely... I'm trying to stay out of the dispo until uh, the 28th. I got my card. I got my new card already. It's just... I'm just trying to take a break for a second. I literally... I have a fucking dispo at my house. I could probably quit smoking for... Three months. Not quit smoking, but not go to the dispo for three months and just live off, well, longer than that, to be honest with you. Just live off all the, uh, live off the land. But, show you here a little bit. What it looks like all broke up. Shit looks nice as nice. That GTI got some of that little purple shit in it. A lot of orange from that uh, goat from Insa. See if we can do the old suck it up thing. The old suck it up trick. Move this out the way. No, I'm just showing you how I roll cones. I'm not, I don't smoke cones. You gotta vape your uh, flower in PA, but 
Just if you don't know how to roll a con, break your flower up nice. <clears throat> I think it's better if you use a grinder, to be honest with you. And. Yeah, it didn't work. If you have a grinder, you can literally just suck that right up into the tube. Like bling, blam, bloom. But yeah, how to fill a cone? Uh, you just literally stuff her in there. But to me, I think that's my, your most uh, critical part is this beginning right here. You want a nice, tight, but not too tight, but decently well packed uh, beginning. Throw a little bit more in, a couple little boom, boom, booms. The actual, actually, that uh, cone roller from Raw, man, that thing, that thing really works nice. We was up at Kutztown up there uh, blazing on uh, Mad Cones. That thing, we were on six at a time, boom, 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 banging them right up. But, yeah, this is a good flower. Um, I forget what the price of it even was. I would definitely say check it out. I uh, I like it, but that GTI 3 Chem, that shit is super tough. That garlic cookies, yeah, is super good. I almost grabbed uh, the grassroots. What up, Los Angeles? I almost grabbed the grassroots uh, garlic cookies, if that's what you're talking about. But just... The THC, it was only like 53%. It was THCA, so it was probably like only 40-some percent THC. If it was a higher THC content, I definitely would have grabbed it. I really do miss... Uh, bang. Banging man, yeah. Banging man, yeah. I definitely miss... Uh, Grass. Uh, so I was like, oh shit, they got a grassroots gram, but that was the day the rise just opened up and uh well I actually ended up stopping at both. I went to the healing center too and grabbed uh oh the chem dog right here. We grabbed this uh this is the Sunday driver, but the chem dog's upstairs. Uh we grabbed the chem dog uh mixed with or no Kimbo Kush slash chem pie is uh what we, uh, what we mixed up uh, came out really nice and uh, or came out really nice I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about I'm so stunned up you want me to do a dab you want me to go grab the puff cut real quick is there any other room yes or no let me know real quick I'll go grab it again uh, that garlic cookies a lot of sauce was so worth the money was it I bet it was yeah I guarantee it was Gar or, you know uh <laughs> Grassroots, they never let you down, really. That's why I do get the wax and the garlic cookies. The flower was running like 30%. Yeah, the turps were super high. I want to say like 13% or something. Yeah, they were dumb high. Turp percentage on that. It's all about the turps. Seems like now, yeah, everyone's finally... Finally, once wants, wants turps now instead of that high ass percentage. Because literally, I had fucking bud that was 15%. It was actually from Insa. It was at uh, the one they sold cheap for 40 bucks or whatever. It was only 13, 14%. And yeah, I got lit. Smoked a nice little something and definitely lit me up. Uh, but hold on, let me go grab the puff go because I do want to do a dab. Uh, bust down. I didn't even know even seen this. We have the butter cookies uh, from Prime. Let me shoot you on a shot of that. So I'll see you real quick while I run and grab that. Uh, what the heck? I'm gonna grab the puff cut for you. Look at that.
Oh, right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He's back. Puff coat up. <coughs> Looks uh, actually pretty nice. It's not all, uh... What the heck's it called? And I really, I don't even think I did a review on this, for real. Or maybe I did. But we'll open it up. Uh, I think there already is... Yeah, it's already full, uh... Gorilla Glue. What the heck's going on with it, bro? Need a little, uh, reboost right there. <coughs> but we have the Gorilla Glue in here. From Cresco, we are going to clear this out real quick. And, uh, cannabis terps. Hell yeah. But, yeah, for this video... This is my wake and bake. <coughs> For the morning, I actually woke up, threw some GG in there for pain relief. <coughs> Didn't leave it on my never dead brand charger last night. Woke up, threw the stuff in, it warmed up a little bit, and boom, died. So I didn't even really get to smoke yet. <coughs> Should I leave live leaves rosin yet? Mm -hmm. A while ago. <coughs> yeah, I bet it is. I had that um ghost of the M or ghost of the DM or whatever it is. And yeah, I, it was a half gram. I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll buy one of their half grams. I think it was on sale for 45 or something. Picked it up. <coughs> and yeah, their sauce is fire. So grassroots is good. I have no complaints with them. It's just, I hate that they used to sell waxes for $65. I want to say almost $55 a gram. Now they're $50 a half gram. That's, that's that shit I don't like. Shout out Perrier. Uh, that's the new grower in Pittsburgh. He should be out Western PA uh, very soon. Fade space for the sick ass insert for a Puffco. This thing uh, really works very, very well. The new Puffco should be here by next week, if not sooner. Uh, my new phone will be here. The iPhone 12 will be here. And I wouldn't even be getting a new phone, but my phone, <laughs> as if you follow me, you should know uh, something's wrong with the speaker. You can't hear anything out of the damn speaker it's like super annoying i it just sucks like when i do live videos on my cell phone at home indians are always like i can't really hear you yet it's because my phone is a piece of junk i mean it is a 12 and stuff but you just can't hear for nothing like it sucks i can't hear through the thing i got a speaker phone everybody whatever 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 of course there's no dabber down here but we have the scissors so we will go and hit it with a scissor dab we got ooh, ooh, that good old prime that good old prime 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 that good old prime damn that gorilla glue got me going a little bit for real to be honest with you. All right, let's go in. Let me move this back a little bit. Damn it. Make a nice scoop. kind of more of a pain of a pain in the ass to get it uh in there when it's warm <coughs> what up my dude yeah whenever it gets warm uh kind of makes it harder to get the wax inside the the jar uh these things turp wipes they work amazing shout out turp wipes thank you so much for 
the hookup on these. Uh, met him up at the Canna Fest. Such a cool, awesome, nice dude. And uh, hooked us all up, man. Turp wipes, dab mats, and everything. But here we go, some prom. Thanks for all the love, support, like, share, <coughs> ring that bell. Damn. <coughs> I'm lit up. You see, when I hit the GG, I was all right, but now this is like, phew. <coughs> <coughs> and it's a high breath. <coughs> <coughs> guys rock love you like subscribe we're less than 40 away from the 3800 giveaway <coughs> love you guys